In this video, Kevin and I are going to be going over our likes and dislikes for the month of October. So, uh, normally, uh, we start off these videos with the things that we just absolutely hated. Surprise. We don't have anything in our hate pile. We had things that we didn't care for this month, but we didn't have things that were so horrible they needed to be like disgusting. in yeah. this video. But if you stay tuned till the end of the video, we're going to be talking about Kevin's Lunchtime Review Channel, and he does have a hate from the Lunchtime Review Channel. So That didn't happen often. But. Yeah, and this was a hate, and this will be, if you don't watch his channel, this might be something that surprises you that he even reviewed on that channel. So stay tuned for that if you want to hear about the hates. So I'm going to get right into the likes. Um, I'm going to start with these. Uh, this is the uh, South Bend uh, Chocolate Company. These were the sea turtles. The South Bend Chocolate Company was kind enough. They saw uh, some of our review videos. We, we had bought some of their popcorn from mm -hmm. World Market. Awesome popcorn. And uh, so they sent us a box of goodies, which, to be fair, everything in there was wonderful. Oh, yeah. But I only picked this one thing, uh, the sea turtles, because that was like, out of everything, that was like the cream of the crop. Mm -hmm. uh, but everything is, is awesome quality. Um, and I would encourage you to go to their website and look around. We don't know what if you do, but we always try to pass on that information to you. If you're looking for like goodies to send to relatives in other states for Christmas or something, this would be a good company to um, uh, order from. And I've heard it from a really good friend of mine. She has been dealing with their customer service people. And she said that she's had really good results, had good interaction with them. So that's good to know that the people are as good as the product. So always that nice. Is good. I'm going to do this one with the big box. It's a big one. This is the market side. Uh, this one, unfortunately, is a limited edition, so it may or may not be out uh, when you watch this. But I so hope you can get this. This is the Italian-style street-inspired pizza. It's a flatbread Italian sausage. And it's really good. They were bought at Walmart. Excellent quality. The crust is good. The toppings are good. Everything about it is just really, really good. Lots this, of flavor. This is one of the take and bakes, so yeah. you don't buy it in the freezer. You buy it back in the... It's where the bakery in Delhi is. Yes. Yeah. And we both loved it. It was terrific. The only thing was, it's a little bit of uh, cumbersome because of the size of it. Yeah, it's and, huge. And you put it on, you put it directly on your oven rack. So you got these slots in your oven rack. So you have to kind of put it skewed a little bit, so it won't, the edges won't go and fall down in there. You put it at an angle, and it'll hold it up really well. What I was doing was I slid it in with the cardboard. It's got cardboard underneath. I carried the cardboard and all over to the oven and just slid it off the cardboard onto the, on the rack. It worked really well. It did, but like we take pizzas out and we'll put them because we didn't want to put that one directly back on the cardboard because it's just too long. It's, and it's floppy. The cardboard yeah. in there is not super thick. Anymore. No, so we have a cutting board. We'll visit. This is longer than the cutting board. Even. I mean, it's we have a good size yeah. cutting board, but it was like right there. But this pizza, it, the crust, the toppings, mm -hmm. everything really were really stellar. I would totally get that over any other, over any pizza. Mm -hmm. That would be, that's like my number one right yeah, now pizza. That's really good. Um, so, uh, I showed you uh, one company. This is another company, Milk Boy. Milk Boy sent us another goodie, uh, goodie box of their chocolates. And uh, this is the um, Alpine Milk Crunchy Caramel and Sea Salt. And this is the White Chocolate Bourbon Vanilla. They were all wonderful, mm, wonderful, good, creamy, creamy yes, creamy um, chocolates. But these were our favorites. Mm. They did also have some dark chocolate, which if you are a fan of dark chocolate, I think you'll really be impressed with the quality. Uh, we, uh, dark chocolate is, is, we want as sweet as we can get yeah. it. I mean, I know? like some dark chocolate, but for the yes, most part, for I the would most choose milk. Part, yes, we would choose milk or white. Mm. And so this is absolutely delicious chocolate. And like I told you, the South Bend, you can buy their popcorn at World Market. You can buy Milk Boy uh, candy bars at World Market as well. So, a good place to find a variety of stuff is World Market. And just to, just to let you know, if you don't watch us all the time, we're very honest with things. So, just because the company sent us that doesn't mean that's why we put it in our favorites. No. Because we get things from companies all the time that and don't that, make our they favorites. They don't make our favorites. No, those yeah. are truly 
favorites. And we would tell you, yeah. Oh, yeah. So this one is a Kellogg cereal. This is gonna surprise everybody if you didn't watch the video. Um, this one is the Nutty Buddy cereal. It's the chocolate peanut butter flavored cereal, Little Debbie. Um, it's just overall just really good cereal. Most of the time, this cereal is kind of eh. You know, most of the time it's a gimmicky kind of thing. This yes. one's just really good. The texture was kind of like the soft, almost powdery kind of texture, and the flavors were really good. Chocolate peanut butter flavor. Yeah, there's. Like when they did the Little milk. Debbie oatmeal cream pie, it did not taste like an oatmeal no. cream pie at all. No, not at all. This had the, I was impressed with the peanut mm -hmm. butter. The yeah, peanut really butter good. was really nice, but like you said, the texture was the great. The texture good. was really, and different. The texture was different than most mm -hmm. other cereal. Now they do look like dog treats. If you look <laughs> at them. They look like Just something you give your dogs, it. but you know, they're really uh, good. Okay, then I have William sent us Popcornopolis. Now, even before William sent us Popcornopolis, this has been like, it's Kevin absolutely loves, what is it, the honey, 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 honey butter. butter? Kevin loves I the can't honey buy it because I eat too much of it. But this one, uh, uh, William sent us these and there were like four different varieties in a bag. And this is the caramel corn. We just love the regular caramel corn. Mm -hmm. That's um, very good. But you usually find it in these uh, cones. And uh, we've not seen a fan of the cones, honestly. I'd really have a bag, but but they do have them available they, in a bag too. Some, in some flavors, yeah. Yeah. So uh, this was terrific popcorn. Can we do it? I have a lot more than you. I oh, feel like um, I'm gonna. Do, well, but... I'm gonna get rid of a lot at one time. Yeah, I think. Go ahead. Maria, Maria in Berlin, Germany. If you all have been watching me at all, you know that she uh, sends us so much. It's just. Um, Amazing how much time and money and effort she uh, spends to, to send us this stuff. And we are eternally grateful. Uh, but, so I'm going to show you everything from that she has sent us that we've loved. Uh, this is the, um, this is from Aldi and it's limited Aldi, Aldition. Is that how you would pronounce that? But this is a uh, strawberry, it's um, a spread. And it is, uh, she sent us three of these spreads, but this was our favorite. This has a, just a very, very fresh strawberry. And there's a little bit of a grittiness in it. Mm -hmm. um, I have been eating this just with a spoon. I have not actually been eating it on anything, but of course you could if you wanted to. Yeah, that was the thing we said, really they could have left the chocolate out and just give me the strawberry yes. part. <laughs> yes, because half of it was was chocolate, half of it was strawberry. I would rather all three of these be just that special flavor, uh, but it was terrific. Yeah, it's very good. Uh, then this is a Ritter Sport. This is a coconut. We've had coconut Ritter Sports before, but it's a nice reminder of how good it is. Mm -hmm. And you can buy Ritter Sport all over the place. All over. You can buy it at World Market, but you can also get it at like um, the Fresh Market. I think Walmart sells some a Do they sell of, a Ritter few Sport? of them. They don't sell a lot. If of them, they, they sell so. this coconut in the white, you need to get yeah, it. I could be wrong, but I'm thinking. I think I've that seen, one was in white. I think I've seen those at Walmart. Because we've had it in white and in uh, milk chocolate too. This was a. Um, I wrote a cheat sheet on the back. This is milk chocolate uh milk chocolate white chocolate caramel and strawberry um and i wrote on here the main flavor was toffee caramel uh, is what it was but this was a fan edition this is one they should have out all the time and this is a normal size ritter sport bar this one that i showed you before was in um you can get little packages of uh, little candy bars which i love buying them that way because you can get a variety of them that way um but that was awesome um, and then these uh, Halloran O's, uh, this was a coconut variety. I'm very impressed with the coconut, the German coconut dessert. Mm, it's very sweet. This is a Ferrero, uh, these are white crispies. And I've been really bad about um, eating these. They're individually wrapped and uh, they, they're delicious and crispy, exactly what they say. And then Merci. Uh, Merci, these are called Lovelies. There was a cappuccino, a white cream, a white almond, and a stracciatella. Absolutely phenomenal brand. Uh, very, very creamy, and they call them Lovelies. They were lovely. <laughs> they were, in fact, Lovelies. Um, I, I would be hard-pressed to pick a brand um, out of the German ones and the Ritter. I would 
it's it's hard between the the Merci and the Ferrero. Uh, both of these are so good. It would be I, it would be between one of these, um, but they're all wonderful. So that is the stuff from Maria. Now these are I'm just gonna do the Vortman, uh, the Vortman eggnog wafers. Uh, if you like eggnog, there's no even a question about it. Just go find them. Go get them if you find them. Uh, they're really, really good. And Vortman's always really good anyway because the, the uh, wafers are really good and crisp, but they're not really thick and hard. They're really just like really crisp and fresh. Um, excellent flavor. They were sent to us from Vortman's. Yeah. They sent us those and the candy cane and they had a chocolate mint. Yeah, it seemed like the chocolate mint we weren't a huge fan of, but they but these were excellent. And the other oh, ones were excellent. wonderful. Yes. Yeah. I, the, and I said during that video, if you love eggnog, but you pass on the eggnog because it's so many calories, it's like a million calories for a cup, get these because you can eat like three, three for 150. Three for 150, and they're the big wafers too. They're not teeny titles. And they'll them. make you, they really taste like eggnog. They make you feel like you've, yep. had, you think eggnog. you've had eggnog. This is a great thing to, sub, a great substitution. Yep. Um, so then I have one of these naked. These were a surprise mm -hmm. because I bought these. Somebody requested that we review these juices and uh, you buy them over in the produce department. I never expected to like them so much, but this is the pina colada. And uh, it was just, I like pina colada anyway. The but they were all really good though. They were, they were. There were a couple that we didn't care for that had like um, But they were just because they had Yeah, it had the protein ones. But the, yeah. the, all the ones that were just fruit, um, we liked all of those pretty yes, much. Yes, even I mean, the green ones. Yeah, even I mean, there the are some we like better than others, but but they were all this pretty good. This was the best of those, yeah. though. Um, I have Snickerdoodle Oreos. Um, why can I say? It's a Snickerdoodle Oreo. <laughs> <laughs> um, it was really good and had a really good cinnamon flavor, but it was very, very, very sweet. Um, it was just, mainly cinnamon and sugar, to be yeah. honest. I don't know that it was Snickerdoodle, but it was a really nice cinnamon sugar yeah. Um, cookie, yeah. Uh, really nice. Good texture on it, too. Mm -hmm. I would totally get those again. Um, then I have two milk bar items. Uh, these were in the frozen department. These are the uh, peanut butter pretzel batter bites and the gooey butter cake batter bites. And these are like crack. Uh, they're really, they're honestly, really they're like cookie dough. It's like buying frozen cookie dough and they're in a um, uh, cone. They're, they look like a bugle shape. They're the shape of a bugle, but it's really, really easy to eat the whole bag because it is like, it's cookie dough texture and uh, they just melt in your mouth. Yeah, they're kind of shaped like a bugle, but they're not hollow, they're solid. No, they're, they're solid, yeah. Uh, these are um, Acapella uh, Naughty Grams, the cookies and cream version. These were refrigerated too, weren't they? No. No, I can't remember. No, those weren't refrigerated. Those were all just. Oh, on these the are show. covered pretzels. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, sorry, I was trying to think of what these were. Um, yeah, these were the chocolate covered pretzels, but they had a really nice um, texture to them. They had a good salt content. The cookies on the outside were really good. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there was nothing wrong with these. Very at nice all. cookie and cream flavor. Yeah. And they were a little expensive because we did buy them at Fresh Market. I'm hoping you all can find them somewhere cheaper. Yeah. Um, I don't know. Uh, this is the um, Great Value, which is Walmart brand. Uh, we did a whole video of these uh, crispy onions. Mm -hmm. and uh, Like you put on green bean casserole or whatever. Yes. So, the, um, the regular onions, the french fried onions, are fine. They really are. But if I was going to pick some just to snack on and just to eat, these are the ones I would pick. Uh, the, the, uh, the garlic pepper. These are awesome. Yeah. Yeah, and, they might be much... Well, I mean, they'd probably be good on your green beans, too. But they probably would They're really be, good snacking. But they are going to change the flavor of your green bean casserole if that's what you're using them for. Um, but these, I don't know if these are actually... Like, the French fried onions are actually in the aisle with the green beans. These, I think, were up front in the produce section. Yeah, I'm thinking they were, too. Yeah, so if you're looking for them... There's another brand fresh something there with these. Right. So, yeah. So, you need to look for these up in produce and not in the aisle with the green beans. But if you haven't tried these, these are good literally just to just eat. Just like, a snack. Yeah, like you get you, onion breath, but they're still really good. It's it's worth it. Garlic breath. Worth it. <laughs> Alright, these are the... Uh, um, Nightingale, the ice cream sandwiches. This one's Nikki's Blondie. Truthfully, anything that looks like this <laughs> from this company, you need to buy, buy it. it. Um, they're excellent. Even just their basic vanilla ones are mm -hmm. so, so good. And they're like this thick. 
and um, it's deceptive because you're thinking. It's yeah, you not see this little big. package, and it's like what five bucks or something. I mean, it's kind of, it's not cheap, um, and you're thinking, well, I'm not gonna pay that much. This is just as good as eating a pint of Ben and Jerry's ice cream. Literally, it, they, it's they're so so good. good. Yeah, uh, may not be quite as much as a pint of ice cream, but it's it's you'll you'll be satisfied. Trust mm -hmm. me, because it's excellent, excellent quality. Flavors are really good. So this is one we hadn't tried before. Try it out. It's still the same. Uh, and the bad thing is, is that was a limited edition. Yeah. And the, the name Nikki's Blondie. It was Nikki. Was it Nikki Hilton? Yeah, Nikki Hilton. Uh, God's love we deliver is a uh, part of the proceeds from this went to God's love we deliver. And uh, Nikki Hilton was in on that. And what I said during that video is they need to rebrand this flavor, it's use the same regular. flavors, and just call it something else so that they can Blondie make this part of their lineup because this should always be out. It should not be a limited edition. Yeah, there are, any of that brand is good. So now we both have Choco Love. Um, this, that was Kevin's favorite. This was my yeah, favorite. Almond and sea salt and milk chocolate. And this was the uh, salted caramel in dark chocolate. So we told you earlier. And mine's a bar and yours are little bites. Mine's are little bites. We told you earlier that we're not like huge, huge fans of dark chocolate. But when when we like it, we like mm -hmm. it, and I love this dark. They were chocolate. good too. Yeah. Absolutely wonderful. This the, you will not want to pass these up. I think we bought both of these in um, Whole Foods. But uh, Choco Love is a brand. I think you could get it everywhere, can't you? I Maybe so, not these bites. I don't know. But you might see the bars. I know we've seen them in um, World Market. I think uh, Meyer sells Choco Love. Yeah. Fresh Market, I think, sells it. Yeah, it just, they don't sell as big of a selection, maybe, as uh, Whole Foods. Yeah, you might find them at Walmart. I don't know. I've yeah, never, you might. I don't look. know. Um, these are the Kroger brand Supreme Chocolate Chip Vanilla Cream Cookies. It's a sandwich cookie, but they're chocolate chips instead of uh, like an Oreo or something. So chocolate chip cookies with a vanilla cream on the middle, and they were excellent. And, yes, they're wonderful. And there's nothing else out there that's similar to this in our area, at least. We have no. not seen any other cookies that are like chocolate chip sandwich cookies. We looked because we were going to buy for the video. Yeah, we, we were going to compare buy, them. And there's nothing to compare no, them to that we nothing else really to compare them to. So they're just excellent. So if you have a Kroger in here, or what is it... Um, the Fred, Fred Meyer. Fred Meyer. And you see these? Try them out. I think you'll really like them, especially if you like a good chocolate chip cookie. Oh, yeah. Um, then we have Wrap Snacks. These are the uh, I Wrap Snacks Icon uh, OG Barbecue Cheddar Snoop Dogg. Uh, we found these, I'm pretty sure, up at the checkout at Walmart. Mm -hmm. That's where they usually sell them. Yeah, they don't stuff. have them back in the regular chip aisle. No, know. they're they're up front. You have to get them up there. So take a look around before you check out up there. Uh, but uh, we've even found Rap Snacks. We found them in some bizarre stores. But Walmart is the place you need to go if you're really yeah, looking they for them. them. Uh, but these were just really good barbecue potato chips. Mm -hmm. okay, I have... Um, are these all different? They're different. Okay. So this one is the Trader Joe's Salted Maple Ice Cream, uh, which was excellent. Uh, Trader Joe's is a hit and miss on ice creams sometimes for me. For us, yeah. Yeah, this me. one was one of their really good ones. I would eat this anytime. Uh, the maple wasn't too chemically or fake. It was just a really good maple flavor and, and uh, uh, it had salted, salted maple. And it seemed like those were only, they were very limited because last time we were in Trader Joe's, I didn't even see those yeah, anymore. I think they just, yeah, and it says, but well, it doesn't say. It, it might have said it on the plate. Yeah, but um, I'm sure it is maple. It's probably not going to be around all the time. No, because like, last time we were in there, they did not have that at all. Yeah, I'm thinking there wasn't a be very many of those left when, when we got, we that got one, it. So. Yeah. Um, and then I have a, a very expensive. They were originally $18.95. I'm thinking maybe I paid $15 if you watch the video. Uh, Williams Sonoma is a, it's just a very, very expensive brand. But I have to give them kudos when it's due. These were the gooey uh, pumpkin bars. Um, I still think they were too much. I really do. But it was delicious. They were delicious gooey pumpkin bars. They were exactly what they uh, said they were supposed to be. 
um, it tasted like really good quality bars and I really enjoyed them very much. Yeah, they were excellent. They were really, really good. And it's always nice going in there. We very rarely go in there. but Because they are so expensive. Yeah, but when we do, it is a nice, it's always a pleasant shopping experience. Mm -hmm. They have very knowledgeable people working mm -hmm. there. Yeah, always super friendly. Very helpful, very friendly. They so. don't watch you like a hawk while you're walking around. They don't seem like they are. They probably are watching you, but they don't seem no, Some like stores we go into, they're like, yeah. What are you doing? Yeah, what are you gonna touch? Yeah. But um, yeah, they 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 were very very nice. So so I wanted to to say that that really enjoyed those. Yeah. It's just a matter of if you want to pay that much. <laughs> I have one more. How many do you have? I have just, one, just more? one more. Okay, I'll do mine. Mine are the Graders uh, ice cream. These are uh, the dragon fruit sorbet and the Alina's uh, blueberry pie. And we got these at this shop, didn't we? We did. Uh, I, matter of fact, I don't even know that I've ever seen these in the actual store. Um, I don't maybe. think I have. Yeah, we don't really look at the graders all the time, but I don't think I have. Well, they were uh, both limited edition. Yeah, and so we got them at the scoop shop locally. You can walk right in and just, they have a whole freezer and you just look through there and they have pies and cakes and all kinds of stuff. Mm -hmm. um, but these were just both excellent. You wouldn't think me and Tammy would like dragon fruit. It was, it was, it was really wonderful. Good. Yeah, it was wonderful. And it wasn't, it was really sweet and very flavorful it was just really good um okay and then my last thing that i have is the uh, the great value this is a walmart brand these were flavors of fall variety pack and it was ground coffee and kevin and i did we reviewed the whole box in one big long video uh, uh, we reviewed i think a row at a time so like four at a time this though i saw it and got it and i was glad i got it because once they sold out of them of course it's on a special fall display so i'd say they get enough to cover that fall display and then once it sells it sells once they sold they didn't get them back in again they filled up anymore. they filled up that slot and we didn't sell them anymore because truly it would have been good to re buy another box so that you have um a, a another uh, 12 to try for 12 more days because they i thought it was a really good selection mm -hmm. yeah it was definitely uh, it was good enough to have at least a couple times yes yeah. there were some that were better than others throughout there but none were bad enough to where it's like eh, i don't want that one again i will be on the hunt when they replace that fall section with the christmas stuff I'll be on the hunt to see the if they do a Christmas one, and if they do, I'm gonna snatch it up because it's worth getting. And this would also be a good gift to give to somebody if you collected uh, stuff like this for Christmas or stocking stuffers or whatever. Just because it says fall on it, it doesn't mean it expires. This is good until July of 2023 is when this says. So this would be an awesome gift Nine months to, or something. to give somebody. Yeah, because just because it's a uh, pumpkin flavor or something doesn't mean you can't be drinking it in January. Um, I think it would be a really cool gift to mm -hmm. give to somebody. Yeah, it'd be good. So now for lunchtime review, Kevin has a channel called Lunchtime Review. Five days a week, um, he reviews foods. He takes the weekend off, Saturday and Sunday, just like hopefully you would do it at just a, at work. At work, um, and then everything he reviews, it's it's microwavable or shelf stable or like cold sandwiches, stuff like that. But one day a week. He goes out to eat so those videos are posted on thursday every thursday he tries to go to a, a, a restaurant or fast food restaurant or something like that so these are the things uh you he has one hate should i do that one first i only have two things though. yeah yeah i only have two i'm gonna do i'm gonna do the like first okay um this one is the so country, he liked this one yeah, make it clear the country breakfast sausage and gravy from screaming sicilian it's a little pizza um i gave it a five out of five um it was just really good the crust was really good the the uh, sausage and gravy flavor was really good it was you wouldn't think it would be good on pizza but it's just think about it if you were to do uh, biscuits and gravy and then you got a biscuit on the bottom the pizza crust is just taking the place of the biscuit that's your biscuit so so yeah it was just really good and they put plenty of sausage on there and the gravy flavor was like a good um sawmill white gravy with pepper in it it was just i mean it was just, overall it was just excellent and um like i said going going into it i wouldn't have thought it was that good it was excellent it was really good uh, now for my hate i haven't had hates for a while and i wrote i actually gave this a 1.5 um, this one is, yeah, 1.5 out of 5. Uh, this one is the Marie Callender's Cornbread, and it's actually the uh, original cornbread mix, single serve. It's kind of like a mug cake. 
And uh, if you look at the picture, it doesn't even look good in the picture, honestly, if you look at it. Um, it actually like had a harsh, like burnt my throat kind of texture and, and uh, flavor. When I ate it, it's like, first of all, there's only, it tastes like you're eating raw cornmeal when you're eating it. And because um, there's no other flavors, no butter or no anything. Uh, it's like raw corn cornmeal. And then when you're eating it, it's got like this chemical burn in the back of your throat. And it's like, I don't know how you could eat that. And it's really dense and dry. It's just, it's not a good experience. I don't know. If you were having it with something, maybe if you were dumping it in soup or something, it might be better, but I don't, I mean, soup beans, I'm thinking of cornbread and soup beans, but um, it's just not worth it. Don't, don't buy this. Okay, it's my awful. question to you is on that. I bought it at Walmart for $1.98. Yeah, save your $2. Yeah, save it. Um, my question is you rate from one to five. Right. Five's the best. Right. Okay, so you gave that a 1.5. Right. Why didn't it get just a 1? What um, was it that gave it that you, extra point? You five? could eat it. You could definitely eat yeah, it. Yeah, but you can eat anything. You, it's edible. Why was it worth it's the, not know, that a, extra? It's, if it was a 1, it was literally, I would take a bite and go, oh, I don't want to swallow this. Okay. That would be a 1. Like, mm -hmm. I do not want to, because I've had a couple of those, and it's like, I don't want to even take one more bite of this. It's, it's so disgusting. Okay. Uh, like slugs or something. <laughs> Um, this is not quite that bad. It's cargo. Uh, this, because I've had some that look like that. Uh, this one's not quite that bad. You could eat this if you could get over it. Maybe it wouldn't burn your throat. It burns my throat. Um, and But beyond the burning my throat, it really just didn't have anything going for it. So it's edible. And it's not like disgusting, spit it out of your mouth disgusting. But, um, but it was pretty darn bad. But it was bad you. enough to where I didn't want to eat, eat another bite of it. and did not eat another bite of it after I did the review. I walked in the kitchen and Kevin said... My throat is actually burning. <laughs> it was like raw feeling. Uh -huh. It was awful. Yeah. And well, I didn't take that many bites of it. It never felt that way. So you can imagine if you ate a whole bowl of a cup of it. It'd be awful. Uh, so I figured that would surprise you all. Yeah. Um, so. Well, unless you watch the video, then it wouldn't surprise you at all. Yeah. Uh, Kevin, like I said, he goes out to eat once a week. Those videos are posted on Thursday. So I always like to go over just those meals that he ate out and see like what was his favorite and maybe if you sometimes you're like i would get all of these again sometimes mm -hmm. you're like no that one really wasn't good it's interesting for me to hear it because i don't remember what i had at the beginning of the month it's been four or five weeks <laughs> yeah okay so the thing you had at the beginning of october on the 6th you had the mcdonald's the cactus plant flea market which oh. Who knows where they came up with that name? The Cactus Plant Flea Market box. I think I called it ca a Captain ca a a cabbage, cabbage Patch. Cabbage Patch or cotton, something. Cotton Patch or something like that. It's like, well, you know. You can tell the era we grew up in. We grew up in the the, pat, the Cabbage Patch well, era. Well, they took so. my order. They didn't question it. So it's probably not the first time they'd heard it that day. I think you did call it the Cactus Patch. Yeah, Cactus Patch. <laughs> that's what I said. Which is hilarious. And it's just funny because I sit there for five or six minutes looking at the sign, literally staring at the sign, reading it over and over again because I was just sitting there in line. And then you get in line and you say it wrong. <laughs> I say things wrong in videos occasionally. Imagine that. Yeah, we're human. Yeah. Imagine that, that we yeah. say when things When I call wrong. something chicken and it's pork or and something. And then you have to have people call you out on it. Yeah. Uh, yeah. That wasn't chicken. You they, called it chicken. It's like, my goodness sake, it's impossible chicken, any impossible pork anyway. It's not even pork. <laughs> Some people, it wouldn't make their day if they couldn't correct you on something like that. Whatever. But you chose to get, you could get chicken nuggets or you could get something else, right? It was like a burger or something. And yeah, Kevin chose the, the chicken nugget. Big Mac nugget. or something, yeah. It was basically a, a Happy Meal for adults. Yeah, the only difference there is they gave you a toy and the toy was sad. I mean, it was just nothing. It was this little hard plastic you sit it on a shelf and it doesn't do anything. No, nothing moves. Nothing does anything. They're not even cute. They're, no, they're they not got, even cute They got toys. two sets of eyes. What in the hell's with that? <laughs> I don't even understand that. They're it's not like, cute. No. It's not worth keeping. Um, and even kids will look at it and go, eh, what am I going to yeah, do? Yeah, what's this? wrong with this bird that, that yeah. has two sets of eyes? It's a misprint. <laughs> uh, yeah, exactly. That's what it looks like. So, uh, yeah, we won't be keeping ours for no. sure. No, um, and if they had something... If, if I wasn't doing this channel, I never would have done it. Never would have oh, got no. it. Because the toy wasn't cool enough for I me to look at. I don't get people that actually, actually don't have a channel and just, like, okay, I'll just tell on her. Our daughter. 
Ashley. She's the one that let me know about it, actually. Why in the world did, did she go and get that? But, I don't no, know if she wanted it for her kids at school or she was going to take think so. it to school. I'll, I'll, I'm going to tell you, she was hoping to get Grimace. Yeah. Well, we didn't get Grimace. Nobody did. Everybody in our area. Everybody that you've seen on, on the people you saw online got the same got bird. Got the bird. I don't watch food reviews no. from anybody. But, we but watch, she watches regular vlogs. I like watch people. a channel, uh, uh, The Village's Newcomers. I watch this couple. Well, one of their videos just happened to be they went to McDonald's on their golf cart and they got the adult Happy Meal. And they paid. It was way overpriced. These things were like $10 a piece yeah, for a Happy Meal. Close. So they get their Happy Meal. And, and only one toy. No, they didn't get any toy. Oh, neither one of them. Neither toys? one of them got a toy. Oh. And so he went in there and he's like, uh, I paid for this and didn't get the toy. And she's like, Yes, but we only have two left. And he's like, Yeah, well, I paid for two. And he said, I don't know if she was wanting to save them for her grandchildren or what, but if you paid for that toy, I don't care if you like it or not, you owe me that toy. Yeah, I would get my money back if they didn't give me the toy. Because so, that's the only thing you're paying for. Yeah. So, so anyway, and they got the bird too, unfortunately. They got the bird and they are in Florida. Yeah. So, so we got the bird right here, but Ashley wanted Grimace. Ashley didn't get Grimace. She got the bird as well. So uh, that's, uh, that's the only reason she bought it is because she was hoping to get the Grimace to sit out. I guess she wanted to collect it. Yeah. I don't know why if you weren't if you weren't buying it specifically for the toy though, yeah. there's no reason to no. buy it. No, buy but, but, but like I said, we're not even gonna keep our toy. We're no. gonna give our toy. They away. need to have some neat, neat toys, like some Star Wars toys, or back when they did some cool Star toys. Wars. Well, they used to do cool toys, and these did they are like, ever do Star Wars? I think so. I don't oh, know. I don't, I don't know. know. Anything, anything would be better than what they had. Anything. Anything. And and then they came back out with those buckets. Glass shards in a jar in a jar would be better than what they had. I know a lot of you all cared about those buckets. I had the buckets. I had a ghost bucket, a pumpkin bucket, and a witch bucket. They're too small. That I kept for years, and it's like that's. I just don't decorate with those anymore. I, I gave them away or sold them in the yard sale or something. I just didn't care anything about the buckets. Small. Um so anyway. <laughs> anyway, it was on. a chicken nugget meal. Yeah, that definitely wouldn't be a oh you gotta go get that. Okay. Then the on, fiasco. On the thirteenth. <laughs> and I'm gonna comment on something after this. Go ahead. Okay. On the thirteenth, you had the freshest big boy Philly cheesesteak sandwich and bacon and ranch fries with cheese. Now that is not why he went there. No. But okay. go on. You go on. Oh, this okay. Let me just do the rest of this and I'll tell you the... the okay. Thing. Then on the 20th, you had the Culver's Curd Burger. Cur Curder Burger. Curder. Sorry. Curder Burger, which is a horrible name. It is. And then on the 27th, you had Sonic Drive-In. You had a steak, bu steak butter burger cheeseburger. You had broccoli cheddar tot and cookie dough bites. Okay. Out of all those... Um, I can say the the Curder burger wasn't really anything special beyond uh, I mean the curd the fried curd cheese uh, cheese curd on the top really didn't make that much of a difference so that was like eh. um, the Philly cheesesteak from Big Boy was really really good I really did like that that's not why I went originally but it was it was an excellent sandwich it was very very good it was toasted it had a good flavor to it uh, the bacon ranch fries were good they they were good too. Um, the Sonic would be my choice, though. I would actually get that steak butter burger, uh, cheeseburger, anytime. It was excellent. Mm -hmm. um, I wouldn't get the broccoli cheddar tots because they, when they say broccoli, they mean it's broccoli. I mean, it's green broccoli. Um, and the cookie dough bites, I'd skip those, too, because they were just okay. They mm -hmm. were, um, you would, I think I said it in the review, uh, you would think fried cookie dough would be really, really good. It was okay. It just wasn't all that. They have another dessert you like more. The, uh, the, they're like churros. Oh, the churros. Yeah, yeah, the churro twists or something. Yeah, they were really, really good. So the Sonic, the burger, I would do again. The rest of the stuff and the Philly cheesesteak from Frisch's Big Boy, I would do again. Um, now let me tell you the fiasco. I looked at, I, when I'm thinking, I can't spell Frisch's, first of all. So who knows how to spell Frisch's, okay? Hey, but you know how to spell Frisch's? I do, but. If you were searching on the internet for Frisch's Big Boy, what would you type in? I personally would type in Frisch's. Frisch's. I type in Big Boy because it's I can spell that right. Frisch's. I'm not sure. <laughs> but I, I get you. Yeah. I, I understand. Frisch's. It's like I'm not quite sure how to spell it, so I'm gonna type Big Boy. So I type in Big Boy. Popped up with a thing. I click on it. I go to the menu. There's the items on the menu. It's got a new whatever it was. I don't even remember what it was at this time. Um, some kind of burger or something. I don't remember. 
Um, so anyway, yeah, there were some burgers on there. So, yeah. uh, so I went to Big Boy and it was fun. It has the same freaking logo as the Frisch's Big Boy, just to let you know. The same. It looks, it's the Frisch's Big Boy. I think the only difference is the hat. Uh, the Frisch's Big Boy doesn't have, does have a hat and Big Boy does not. That's the only, that's the only difference that I could see. Who would know? I wasn't paying that close attention because I didn't know there was a difference. So I go to the place and say, I want this burger. And they're like, I don't know what you're talking about. And it's like, well, it's on your, it's on your website. How would I know there was different things? Um, and clearly she didn't know. And she didn't know either. She didn't know either. She had, and she said, are you sure you're not talking about, and she might've said, are you sure you're not talking about big boy? Well, I'm thinking, I don't what think the hell did. are you talking about? I don't think she did because I've got She it. said like Bob's. Burgers I've got it on video like or Sonic or something. I've got it. On, it's on the video. But anyway, she didn't say anything that would make me think, oh, there's two different big boys. I mean, because who would think that? Um, so I, I was, um, I was just like, I don't want her to think I'm crazy and I still need to eat a lunchtime review. So I'll figure, figure I'd just go in and see if there's anything new. So I, I pull in and I go inside um, and I actually talked to the woman that took my order and I said, here's the app uh, that says the sandwich. And so she, even at that point, I'm showing had her the no website, idea. had no idea that I'm looking at the wrong company's website because she's thinking they're supposed to have this stuff. Because it looked like, it, it looks like the same just thing. like their the website. The woman that works there didn't notice the difference. How in the hell is a regular customer supposed to know the difference? You right, know? right. So anyway, we were very nice to each other. People said I should go back and apologize to one. We were very cordial with each other. I wasn't mad about it. Didn't insult her. Didn't get pissed off or stomp in there and go, you stupid idiot, you know, or anything like that. I'm not that kind of person. Um, when I was in drive through though, it was just like I was trying to tell her, this is what your website says. And she's arguing with me like, no, ours doesn't. And it's like... What's going on? I've noticed when Kevin does these lunchtime reviews, people see what they want to see. People hear what they want to hear. <laughs> like I was rude to people and it's like, what? They thought people watching that specific review for some reason thought, Kevin, there was some uh, rudeness there. That was the furthest thing from the truth. Mm -hmm. They were very cordial to each other when he went inside. Kevin is nothing but nice to everyone. I mean, like, overly nice I to I mean, everyone. I get frustrated with people, but I'm never... But you would never me. know that. You would never know that if he is frustrated, you wouldn't know that. I went inside. I, it's not like I went in there stomping in and saying, you idiot, or anything. I mean, it was very... I walked in and said, I'm, I'm just confused. It says, I just showed her the website on my phone. And it's just like... It, it doesn't make sense. Why would this say it's on? You got all this, and she was looking through there. There's all kinds of stuff on here we're supposed to have. I mean, she literally she was on her own phone um, looking up stuff, and uh, which just goes to show you she searched for Big Boy as well on her phone. Just to let you know, she pulled up the exact same website. There, that the says country, a lot. The, 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 some, the woman she that works there. She pulled up the same yeah, website. Exact same website. So she didn't have a so, clue. Who would have known? That's just bad marketing on that company's part. I don't blame our local restaurant and definitely don't blame that woman. I don't for blame her. you or her. I blame the company. Yeah, it's a hundred percent the company. And yeah. I even said to her when I went inside, I said, It's not your fault because she was saying, I'm let me give you a free dessert. I'm like, no, 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 it's not your fault. It's it's I don't blame you at all. It's the website's fault uh for not being accurate. And then later on I found out it's it is accurate if you go to Big Boy, mm -hmm. um, which is completely different than Frisch's Big Boy. Right. And there's also another one like Bob's Big Boy or something, which is, it's the same, it looks exactly the same. So anyway, it was just, that's bad marketing on the company's part, not to separate them out. If I'd known better, I would have looked at their locations. The locations for Big Boy are all like up towards Michigan and stuff. I would have never known stuff. though. That I would be, known. That would be like going to Culver's and okay, I have to look at my specific Culver's for my specific area because it's different. It makes no sense that yeah. you should even have yeah. to do two, that. Two separate companies. Um, I just wanted to explain that there was no there was no hard feelings between me or her. We both walked out perfectly fine, you know, for the day. With her being confused about why they weren't selling this stuff and me going, you know. Yeah, <laughs> you're right. It's bad for that company. Yeah, so I mean, yeah. when your own employees are looking at the, up, up your wrong website on their phone to figure out what products they have, they got an issue. <laughs> we have another second before the camera will cut off, so I want to address this too. Kevin got several requests to try these hot uh, yeah, like ghost, ghost pepper, pepper burger. burger burgers from I think several Bur Burger King has one. I think two else restaurants had these. Like a Diablo or something. Kevin's not interested in that. No, it's he, just painful. Though. When you see him go out to have lunch, 
he wants to enjoy it. He this is his lunch for the day. He doesn't want to go somewhere where or, where, or order something where he's going to be in pain and not enjoy it. This is his lunch, and this is all he's going to have for lunch. So. Um, why would he choose something that's going to make him miserable? So if you watch that channel and you're wondering, hey, I asked you to try that ghost pepper and you didn't. Well, that's why. Because yeah. he, he knows that that's not going to be a pleasurable I try, experience. I will try a spicy occasionally or a jalapeno or something when I know it's not literally marketed to burn your to hurt you tongue off. For Halloween. <laughs> yeah. So I think a Burger King had like a ghost pepper one and, and Hardee's had the Diablo or vice versa. One, one of those two, they there was two different ones. And yeah, those just, yeah, I'm not interested in those yeah. kind of things. So I hope you enjoyed the video though. I hope if you're, if maybe you're interested now in that Frisch's video, it, it, it was fun to watch. It, I, I, a lot of people said, boy, that was uh, hard to watch. You going through the drive though, because it was like, it, it's, it's different. It's a different experience when the person on the other end has no clue what you're talking about. So it was more of a tense experience. Yeah. It'd be like me <laughs> going to McDonald's and ordering something that Wendy's has, you know, yeah. and it's just, you know, are these people on cops that have gone through the drive through and thinking they're at a bank or something like that? <laughs> <laughs> it's just different, you know? So anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you have any comments to make, uh, nice ones are always appreciated. Positive ones are always appreciated. But we, at the end of the day, we appreciate you watching the video. And please give us a thumbs up. And we'll see you at the end of November.